Hello guys, this is Lucy. Today I'm going to show you what is required for this pipeline after Tram2. After you run Tram2 pipeline, and you will get a list file like this. This is a abundance table. Then we can open it by and by Excel and to see what is inside. Here, the first the row are the ASV IDs, the feature IDs, and the columns are samples. And uh, next. And the uh, next file is the taxonomy file. The, the first column is the feature ID, the ASV ID. Maybe someone will change it to, to AS1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and etc. And uh, the second column is the taxonomy classification. As you can see, the main kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. And the last column, because I use consensus blast, the last column is the consensus value. If you use other, if you use other annotation method, the third column is a little bit different, but it's fine. We all all we need is the first two columns. And the third file is the tree file, the phylogenetic tree file. And we can open it with a fig tree. You, you need to open it twice. The first one is open the software, the second is open the phylogenetic tree file. As you can see, it is, uh, the, it is too dense. Why we need this? Because for we need this for the unifrac distance calculate calculation and uh, the beta anti i calculation. It's too much. No. This is our first lesson.